Assalamu alaikum, I am Dr. Tahmina and in this video I will talk about how to handle the contaminated and used instruments in a dental operatory. Okay, it is clear that the instruments they are used, they are contaminated and they are just collected in a tray or whatever you use for the instruments. The collecting of the instruments shifting to the washing area it will never cross a path with the instruments that are cleaned. I mean the dirty instruments and the uh, clean instruments, they, will, they should never cross each other's path. So that, that should be clear. And the, sec the section that uh, in your clinic or the place that you use for the contaminated instruments should be entirely separated from the clean instruments area. I mean, they should be handled in different places so that they should not cross each other's path according to the CDC guidelines. Okay, the instruments that are used, they are just taken for uh, segregation. Segregation means that the needles that are placed or the sharps that are present in that specific tray of contaminated instruments, all these um, uh, sharps should be uh, just um, cut their needles or the needle cutters or whatever the method you follow, either use the needle cutters, trim the uh, sharps and then add to a container, a closed container that is puncture free or that is spilt free or you cannot spilt it at any time and that is that creates, um, that is hazardous, that should be marked as hazardous. So the uh, sharps should be added to the sharp bins. The needles should be added to the, the uh, sharp bins or the needle collect collectors or the closed containers. All the uh, gauze or the blood uh, stained or the uh, coated with blood or everything, the dirty uh, packs and um, gloves, they should be added to the dustbin that is marked with hazardous waste or highly infectious waste. You must provide the three types of dustbins or the bins in the dental clinic. One is the highly infectious, there is different color coding, yellow is for the highly infectious waste. In different uh, hospitals it may be marked red or yellow but in my hospital it is yellow. And the red, red means that uh, that, that you will collect the scrubs and the uh, <clears throat> gowns and everything that should go to the washing area. They should be washed or the for the laundry. And the blue bin or the white bin that uh, is a regular bin that contain the regular waste, the papers and everything that is not infectious. So that will be collected by the municipal committee and everything. So that was a description of three types of dustbins that is provided in your operatory. Coming back to the uh, contaminated instruments, contaminated instruments, you have separated the sharps, the needles and the discard, the, the, the uh, amalgam fillings that should be added to the amalgam container and it should not be thrown in the waste or uh, for the uh, safety of the community and the uh, used instruments they, that will be taken to the uh, sink area or the shank or the uh, <coughs> tub that will have a soap water. That should be scrubbed properly. The bigger instruments that should be scrubbed properly uh, by your dental assistant or the person, the staff who is washing the uh, instruments, he must have the heavy duty gloves so that he should not have incidental or accidental break of contaminated instruments. So keep in mind, provide the heavy duty uh, gloves to the staff that wash your instruments with a, uh, in a brush with soap water. Then after washing the instruments that is uh, collected in a tub and that is shifted to the ultrasonic cleaning bath. Ultrasonic cleaning bath also has a disinfectant and it will uh, clean um, uh, the debris and uh, the, vi the vibrations and the waves that are provided into that disinfectant that will evenly spread, spread over the uh, instrument surfaces and the, those corners or those uh, areas of the instruments which cannot be cleaned by regular method or with a brush, they, they are cleaned properly in 
अल्ट्रासाउंड क्लीनिंग बाद आफ्टर अल्ट्रासाउंड क्लीनिंग बाद यू रिमूव द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स इट इज़ इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ बास्केट यू रिमूव इट इन अ क्लॉथ एंड यू वाइप द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स ओके द यू ट्रेन योर दिस योर स्टाफ एंड द पर्सन हु इज़ हैंडलिंग योर इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड सुपरवाइज and under supervi- supervision you should carry out all these steps if uh, he is not having uh, a proper training or something like that you can train okay uh, supervise him for all these steps so he will learn one day and he will just doing the his duty properly the instruments are wiped then they are added to the pouches uh, the small instruments are handled uh, separately such as the uh files and um, reamers and the endodontic instruments and the uh, scalar tips and everything that should be handled differently they are added to small pouches and the bigger instrument that such as the examination sets and the filling instruments and the extraction instruments and the forceps and everything the bigger instruments that should be pouched separately you should put a date and the name of the instruments and uh, details over the pouches and they are then um, added to the autoclave the autoclave that you have must have in your operatory is b class autoclave b class autoclave is the autoclave that has uh, both the um, company f- i mean um, it works on the cdc guidelines providing two temperatures 121 degrees and 134 degrees and it has inbuilt uh settings of the pressure and the temperature it has a uh, high uh, temperature and pressure and also uh, the vacuum so that the instruments they will not be wet they will be dry because if the pouch instruments are uh, wet so it will just be effective the sterilization will only be effective for just 4 to 6 6 hours or um, so that the moisture may collect um bacteria and other infections uh, infectious uh, organisms quickly as compared to the dried pouches so your uh, autoclave must have a proper functioning of drying the instruments as well so the pouches that are collected uh, from the um, autoclave they are already sterilized they are dried check for the dryness they are then gathered and they should be added to closed drawers or the containers for, for example you may, if you have uh, uh, such as extraction instrument they should be collected into a container the surgical instruments so that you find ease in finding them and uh, there is a proper um, uh, place for every instrument and they are they are organized in a way that you can just pick it easily and they are uh, kept in the closed drawers or closed containers and then they are ready for use and you can easily pick them and use them so that is all for today and uh, in the next topic i will just uh, consider other uh, steps of the instrument sterilization the protocols we will talk um, about prions and we will talk about other infectious diseases and i will just um, talk about cross infection control in my next video for today allah hafiz